Hi, I'm Dr. Seifert with TampaPath.com and I'm here to explain strand displacement amplification or SDA, a molecular technique. SDA is an isothermal technique for the detection of DNA or RNA targets. It is isothermal because the target amplification step takes place at one temperature and does not require a thermocycler. SDA's applications include the detection of tuberculosis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and HIV viral load. While not requiring the expense or maintenance of thermal cyclers, one drawback of SDA is that it is less stringent. Primers can non-specifically bind to the template. The process itself uses two special primers. The goal of the target generation phase is to generate a new special version of the DNA target we want to amplify. The reaction mixture contains deoxyuracil, guanine, adenine, and thiolated cytosine. In this example, we will be using a DNA template, and this example shows modification and amplification of only one strand. The amplification primer contains a special restriction enzyme cut site and is specific for a known region of the template DNA. Upstream of this binding site, the second primer, the bumper, binds. Extension with DNA polymerase takes place simultaneously and uses the amplification primer and its strand off of the DNA template. The strand that was displaced in the previous step will be the template during the target amplification phase. The modified strand, which has hybridized to another opposite strand, contains the restriction enzyme site that was present in the amplification primer. This site is recognized by an exonuclease. Normally, exonucleases cut both strands of DNA when a site is recognized. However, since our reaction mixture included thiolated cytosine, the exonuclease only cuts one strand. This is called a NIC. DNA polymerase recognizes the nic site and synthesizes a new strand starting from that position. This displaces the previous strand. This process of nicking, extension, and displacement occurs over and over again for both DNA strands exponentially. Thank you for watching this presentation on strand displacement amplification.